Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while and to click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell, the title of the video, it's another brand overview video and today is Miss Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. She recently performed at the Super Bowl and I feel like her brand is being talked about a lot because of her performance. Um, she basically is out in the spotlight again and that means that so is her brand. Therefore, I pulled out all of my Fenty Beauty items and we're going to use them today so I can give you a review on the brand as a whole. So if you wanna see what my thoughts are on Fenty Beauty and what items are worth your money, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so Ms. Rihanna, Ms. Riri, performed at the Super Bowl, and it seems like she is just now the talk of the town. She also pretty much announced during the performance that she's pregnant with her second child. We are excited for her. Apparently, um, this whole coming back after a seven year hiatus has really just made her a tiny bit popular at the moment. Everybody is looking her up. A lot of people are shopping her brand. So I figured I would pull out all of my Fenty items and show you how they perform so you can decide if you wanna try something out from her brand if you haven't already. First thing I have here is this primer and it is a soft matte primer. It's the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I have a mini. Normal size retails for $36 and the mini retails for $20. I think the only um, complaint I have from about her brand mainly is that everything is very fragrant. So I applied a tiny bit and I'm going to put it on the perimeters of my face. I already primed my T-zone and I used the Danessa Myrex. Yeah, very, very fragranced. So if you are somebody who doesn't like that, you're not going to enjoy that from her brand specifically. Okay, the next thing we're going to apply is foundation. And I own two different foundations from her line. I believe she has three different um, kinds of foundations. One of them is like a matte, pretty much full coverage foundation. This one here, which is the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. This is currently on sale for $13 at Sephora. So I'm thinking maybe it might be discontinued and she's coming out with something else. I don't know yet. It originally retailed for $36 and it was available in 31 different shades. I picked up the shade 260 and this actually works very well for me. It's a very pretty one. You can tell that I've definitely used it, uh, but I enjoy this when I want a tiny bit more coverage. The other item I have here is the Fenty Ease Drop and this is a skinned tint. This one, I believe it retails for $32. Yes, uh, just kidding, $35. So when this first came out, it retailed for $29. It is now $6 more expensive. Holy guacamole. It's available in 25 different shades and I have here shade number eight and shade number 10. This one's a tiny bit too dark for me right now. This one is a little bit and I mean just a tiny bit too light for me. So I'm just going to mix both of these. I enjoy these. I think they're really, really nice. And um, I just, I really love these. I think she did amazing with this product right here. Okay, so I used number eight not too long ago. I got a gift card, no, money? I can't remember, but I purchased shade number eight because in the winter I can't wear shade number 10. It's just a tiny bit too dark and I just look funky. So I purchased shade number eight so I can either mix or um, a use for the winter, but I'm just mixing both of them. Now make sure that your skin is pretty prepped because this ease drop can actually cling to dry spots. So if you have like dry skin, um, just prep your skin very well. I do recall um, it looking a tiny bit drying on certain areas uh, just because it's like 
winter here. It's cold as hell and no matter how much I hydrate, I still get a tiny bit of dry spots. My skin is still acclimating to the weather here. This is a Sonia G Jumbo Base brush. I have applied this with a brush, my fingers, and a sponge. And I actually prefer a brush for this. You probably get a tiny bit more hydration with a sponge, but I just, I prefer the brush personally. Okay, and there is the skin tint. So, so pretty. Uh, dry skin, again, just prep your skin. Make sure it's nice and hydrated. Um, if that still didn't help, just spray the back of your hand with some setting spray. Dip whatever um, tool you use to apply it and then go over it. And I feel like that just brings back a tiny bit moisture into the product and the face. I did do that just because uh, it felt like it needed just a tiny bit. Okay, now we're going to jump in to under eye concealer. <laughs> So I have two products here. This is called the Match Stick, and I have it in French Vanilla. And then I have the uh, Bright Fix Eye Brightener in the shade Deep Butter. This is more of an under eye brightener, but I do use it as a concealer. I can get away with it. And this is a stick... I think it's a stick concealer. I could be wrong. Honestly, when I first purchased this, I was a little bit confused like exactly to what the purpose of the product was because she does actually have a concealer with like, you know, the tube and the doe foot. I just don't own that. I've heard kind of mixed reviews. Some people enjoy it. Some people think it's too drying. This match stick retails for $32. See, so here is match stick corrector skin stick. For now, I only see four shades available here, so I don't know if these are going to be discontinued. I believe she came out with minis of those. Again, I'm just confused about the product itself. And for this under eye brightener, which I actually do really enjoy, it's just the coverage. It's more of a light medium, more on the light kind of coverage. It retails for $28 and it's available in 16 different shades. So I think I'm going to put a tiny bit of this and then I'm going to jump on top of it with the under eye brightener okay for the stick it's a very very light shade there wasn't much for me to choose from when i first purchased this and i think it was so i can do a full face of fenty beauty so i'm going to dip my fen my bk beauty 110 into the stick and i'm going to start that way because it's pretty bright if you own this, let me know how you use it. I would love to know. I mean, I have used it. I hope you can tell, like I've definitely used th this, but I don't use it often just because the shade is so light. And I don't like too bright of an under eye because it makes my under eyes look older than they are when I do that. It's a decent formula. It's a little bit on the dry side, and if I wear too much, I can definitely notice. Okay, 07 Deep Butter is the shade I have for this Bright Fix. It's more of a peachy kind of shade, but it's still like... This one's definitely lighter than this one, but... Um, this one works a tiny bit better i just enjoy the formula more it's more hydrating um and it it's like your skin but better you know that's too much way too much okay i'm just going to blend it with the same brush bk beauty 110 it literally just sinks right into your skin that's how nice this formula is i did do a review where i compared this bright fix over the rare beauty and um this one definitely has more coverage than the rare beauty in case you were wondering but i do remember really enjoying it it's just the formula is actually pretty fabulous. Okay, now we're going to jump in to some cream contour. This is um, the Match Stick Contour, Match Sticks Matte Contour 
skin stick. <laughs> It retails for $32, and she did recently add some more shades to it. There is now 10 shades available. I have the shade Amber here. It's a true contour for me personally. She also does have the um, cream bronzer, which comes in a little compact, like a powder type of compact. I do not own that. Um, I've kind of wanted to pick it up, but I just haven't. A lot of people seem to love it. So maybe one day I wish they had minis because then that would be amazing, <laughs> but it's fine. I do enjoy this um, contour stick amber. It's a great one for my skin tone. It's definitely, like you could tell that it's very cool toned and there's some great in there. But for me, once I blend it out, it just looks so pretty and I really enjoy it. And you can definitely tell that I've used this quite a bit. All right, I'm going to jump into my BK Beauty 111 and I'm just going to blend this contour out. See, it blends out very easily. It is a little bit on like the more dry side, but I'm perfectly okay with that. I don't need my contour to be super, super creamy. As long as it blends nice and easy, I'm perfectly okay with that. See how it just gave my face a tiny bit of dimension. Okay, I did already set my under eyes. I don't have a powder from Fenty Beauty that I like to use under my eyes. So I went into my NARS. This is the translucent crystal pressed powder. I love that. It's one of my favorite under eye powders, but I do have her loose powder, but I have a mini. Can you believe this is a mini? This is like a pretty big mini, right? So this retails for $36, the full size, and it's the Pro Filter Instant Retail setting powder it comes in eight different shades which i feel that is a beautiful shade range for loose powders um of course i feel like you can always add more but i feel like eight is wonderful and for the minis um this costs 22 dollars and she actually has five shades available in the minis which is awesome i have the shade butter and i'm going to use this to set my face so this is a very drying powder so if you are an oily girl this might be your best friend because i do feel like i can't use this when i have a super matte foundation um i also can't use this if my skin is extra dry because i didn't keep up with my water intake or anything like that um but other than it being a drying powder it's actually a very nice one again the scent it's very heavily scented she she heavily scents most of her stuff <laughs> but um yeah it like does a beautiful job you see that so so pretty okay now we're going to jump in to bronzer this is the sun stalker instant warmth bronzer as you can tell i have a mini but um she does have this available in nine different shades and i feel like she always has a beautiful shade range which is very nice to see uh 34 for the uh regular size and for the mini i don't see it on here so i don't know if maybe it was an exclusive i think i got it in like a bundle okay sorry um my uh hartley girl dropped her blanket she's supposed to be taking her nap but that girl <laughs> Okay, so like I was saying, I don't see any minis available, but um, I did purchase the little bronze duo and it looked like they had two different colorways available. It was basically um, one of the match sticks. It looks like maybe a highlighter or something, but there was Shady Biz and Caramel Cutie. Caramel Cutie was a tiny bit too dark for me, so I picked the one that had a Shady Biz, and honestly, I probably should have gone with the other one because I feel like this one's a tiny bit light. I do have to really build it up to make it work, but it's a beautiful, beautiful, like neutral kind of shade. So we're gonna use that today. Okay, this is a Morphe and Ariel A 5.8, no, just kidding, A58. And I am going to mix a tiny bit of this makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt, Transforming Skin Perfector in Light Medium. 
But first, let me show you the Fenty Beauty. I don't have any cream bronzer. I just have that cream contour from Fenty. See how it's it's pretty light on me. I probably need um, one shade above, but they don't offer minis at Sephora. I'll need to check on the Fenty website. Maybe they do there because I would like to get a more appropriate shade that I can use for like summer and don't have to build up so much, you know? But it's a pretty one. It's a very pretty bronzer and a lot of people do enjoy this Fenty powder bronzer. They also enjoy the cream one too, like I mentioned. Okay, next thing is eyeshadow. I don't own the eye primer from Fenty Beauty, but I hear it's a really good one. I just have too many. I need to use up what I have before I invest in a new eye primer since I don't wear eyeshadow on a daily. Um, they last me quite a bit of time. Okay, so as far as eyeshadow, she doesn't have too much to offer. Um, I think there was a limited edition palette that they release around the holidays maybe, or maybe the middle of last year. I think it got mostly not so great reviews. <laughs> And then they came out with a face palette uh, that people were using also kind of as eyeshadow. And that one got kind of 50-50. But I do own one of her little Snap Shadows Mix and Match Eyeshadow Palette. The one I have is the number five Peach. And basically you can snap like two palettes together for when you travel, which I thought was really neat. I don't hear too many people talk about these little palettes they did when they first came out, but I haven't heard anyone since. These retail for $30. Um, I did enjoy it when I used it. It's not the absolute best formula, but it's decent and I really do enjoy the size of this. I think it's perfect. Must be me going through something, but right now I prefer smaller eyeshadow palettes. So I'm going to create a little eye look with this and I'm probably going to speed through that so that this video is not super long because it's already going to be a pretty long video. <laughs> Sigma and Brianna Fox One Brush. Morphe Jacqueline JH33. BK Beauty 204. Here is what that looks like. It came out very orangey, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't have the Fenty Beauty mascara, but I hear great things about it. So I went into my Melt Cosmetics um, a Supernatural Mascara. I also don't own any brow products from Fenty Beauty, nor do I own an eyeliner. I do believe she has both liquid and like um, for the waterline and the tight line. I don't own any of those, but I do own a cream blush. I feel like Fenty is the one that started this whole cream blush obsession that we have going on. <laughs> This is in Strawberry Dip. It's um, not going to go 100%, but it's okay because I am going to go over it with a powder uh, blush. So the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush. They retail for $24 for this, this little thing here, but it's lasted me quite some time and it is available in eight different shades. I feel like Fenty is the first brand to really go out there when it comes to the cream blushes. As far as like shades, I think she's one of the first ones that brought out like the lavender purple blush, you know, like she started that trend and the bubble gum pink. I feel like she also started that trend. Yeah. 
see what is this uh crush on cupid so i feel like fenty beauty is the one that started it all this is a morphe y5 brush and i have powder already and as you could tell it works pretty well on top of powder it's not lifting anything up okay makeup is pretty much done last thing is lips i don't own a highlighter from fenty beauty she does have a couple to choose from but um i feel like they're not really my style so i did go in to this makeup by mario uh skin perfector powder in light medium and basically hit right in between the gold and like the pinky silvery shade and used that as a highlight and also as an inner corner and a brow bone i think it worked out pretty well for the lips, I do own something from Fenty. I don't own any lipsticks. I did hear great reviews about the recent lipsticks she launched, um, I want to say last year, but I just never picked them up or picked a shade up. But I did go in to this MAC lip liner in Boldly Bare. It's a little bit more on the pinky tone side. It's like a pinky nude. Let me know what your favorite um, MAC Cosmetics lip liner shade is. I got this at TJ Maxx. I think it was like 6 or $7. Okay, so the Fenty Heat. Um, this is the um, Heat Gloss. The Gloss Balm Heat in Fuzzy Heat. And it's, you could tell it's like a mauve kind of shade. The heat on this is more like a um, cinnamon candy. So it's not minty. It doesn't hurt or anything. It actually feels okay. I don't usually enjoy lip products that have like a tingling sensation. But this one's actually uh, decent. It's not bad at all. The formula of this lip gloss it's like your typical lip gloss it's definitely i feel sticky for my personal liking so it's not my favorite but i still use it uh just because it gives like that shine and it actually does really hydrate my lips so i do use it more than i thought it was going to but yeah here it is this is what to the finished full face well almost full face of fenty beauty looks like i don't have a setting spray i think she does have one and honestly i always forget to put setting spray <laughs> okay my lovelies well i would love to know if you have tried fenty beauty and what do you have tried from the brand do you have holy grails i know uh, a lot of the youtubers that i know there's a couple of products that it's their holy grail top ones that i can think of are the cream bronzer and the powder bronzer the eye primer those are definitely holy grails in a lot of people's collection and the lip glosses people seem to really love these lip glosses for me, not my favorite, but it is a nice one. I think Fenty Beauty as brand is a good one. Her shade range is absolutely amazing. And I think that's one of the main things that they have going for them is that they are so inclusive and they have so much to pick from in every single skin category, which I think is great. A lot of brands out there really need to take note and bring that to us because Fenty has definitely done that. I don't love everything, but I do feel like she has some pretty good solid products that I really do enjoy. Uh, I just, I really wanted to make this video because I remember scrolling through something, Facebook, Instagram, I can't remember. And I remember seeing how this performance that she did at the Super Bowl is really just helping her out so much right now in her career top uh, search for Google. I think her sales went up by a lot, like a huge percentage since the Super Bowl for Fenty Beauty. And it's just, it's great to see, you know? So I wanted to highlight the brand and show you what I like and what I don't like and what is worth your money. So I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Don't be shy. Let's have a little conversation. And that's going to be it for this video. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea all the comments, all the likes. If you use my links to shop, it 
all of it. It truly just means the world to me. Well, with that being said, I would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm of hopefully bringing some new and fresh eyes to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you joined my small YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button. I would love to have you. Okay, my lovelies, I will see you on the next video. Bye.